improve your ranking in the state. Now, in the past uh, two videos, we actually split it up as two parts. Video one and video two, explaining how you actually drive out of the back of the circle and drive down that left sector line. Now, the thing that we really wanted to reiterate, it's something that we haven't talked about that much, but something that's very important to mention, is that at this point you're not walking through or stepping through or kind of, you know, gently pushing through the circle. You're bounding down that left sector line. You're running down that left sector line. You're exploding down that left sector line. You're pushing off of that left leg with as much force as you possibly can to run down that left sector line. You are actually in mid-air as you're doing this. If you go here on YouTube and, and uh, take a look at any discus videos that might be out there of any of the top Olympic throwers, a lot of times you see these different videos showing the top Olympic throws of the past 10 years or something like that. You'll notice that as they're driving out of the back of the circle, they're driving and running down that circle. They're literally taking that one big sprint down that circle and exploding right down that circle. They are in mid-air. Both feet are off the ground because they're running through. Today we're going to talk about what happens when they are in mid-air. And that uh, involves a drill called a mirror turn. Now this whole thing you have to picture on the mid-air. As you come out of the back of the circle and you drive with the inside of the power foot, you're driving with the inside of the power foot. And in mid-air, you want that power foot to turn. Okay? Let me show you that again. You want the power foot to go from kicking with the inside to turning the other way. So we're going to go from kicking with the inside of the foot to turning the foot to the outside. Now this is important because this is what gets your entire body turning. And this is what gets the ankle turning all the way through the finish of the standing throw, the finish of the full throw. As you're in midair and that foot starts to turn, we want to anticipate this foot and this leg hitting the ground. As it's hitting the ground, you're going to do what's called a mirror turn. In a mirror turn, picture yourself standing in the power position, discus is behind you, and you're looking into a mirror. Now, what, the way that you want to look, the way that you want to be at the end of the throw, is the way that you look in that mirror. Okay, so take a look at the guy in the mirror. That's what you want to look like when you finish. And the way we do the mirror turn is like this. In midair, we bring the knee and the feet really close together. So the knee and the feet come together, you turn your butt and show your butt to the sector. So there's somebody out there, a uh, official marking. He's got the end of the measuring tape and that measuring stick. You want to just show that guy or that lady your butt. So the feet and the knee come together and then you turn and show your butt. After you turn and show them your butt, you bring that left leg out as quickly as you can. Foot in, turn, foot out. Let me show you again. Feet together, knees together, turn, foot out. Now you notice what happens. Because the knees and the feet come together and you turn, your lower body is once again getting an unfair advantage over the upper body and it's actually still continuing to beat the upper body in that race. It goes back to what we talked about in the very beginning. The lower body and the upper body are in a race through, the, through that circle, through your throw. And as you go through the throw, the upper body always has to lose. The lower body always has to win. It's another way that we do it. And you can see as we do the mirror turn, this arm stays way back. Now why is it so important to get this left leg down as quickly as possible? Let me show you. 
as you're in midair, the foot comes in, the knees come together, you turn, foot goes out. What would happen if I didn't put that foot down right away? After you show the official your butt, if you didn't put the foot down right away, watch what happens to my weight and watch what happens to the discus. The discus goes from being way back here, if I don't put the foot down right away, the discus starts to catch up to the lower body. Not only that, but our knee is bent and we're starting to fall backwards. So it's very important that you get this left leg down as quickly as possible. Let me show you the full thing in midair. Go through this a couple times. So you push, left leg comes down. You push, left leg comes down. You push, left leg comes down. Hopefully this explains and shows you a little bit better of a way to sprint down that left sector line to keep that discus back and to improve your throws even more.